The Drake Underground is the destination for all types of music fans. Nearly every day of the year, bands load into our back doors, set up the stage, and play for local audiences. Believe it or not, one of the best nights to catch a show every week at the Drake is Monday. That's when the Drake plays host to the legendary Elvis Monday. Elvis Monday is a weekly musical showcase that has featured over 6,000 bands, including the likes of Peaches, Billy Talent, and Beck. It's been happening here in Toronto for over 25 years. I'm here in the Drake Underground with the host of Elvis Monday, William New. What can someone expect when they come to their first Elvis Monday? We always have uh, new bands, old bands, all manner of bands. There's never a cover, and we give you a free meal at 10 o'clock, and if you come this week, I'll buy you a drink. Well, can you tell me a little about your favorite Elvis Money moments? Oh, there's so many. Uh, the first time Spiral Beach played, the, uh, the time we got a call from Beck, and he came down and played with his band, and within half an hour, it, we, we went from having 60 people in the room to having 300. <laughs> I think back to uh, early Sum 41 shows and uh, Billy Talent shows, Peach's first ever show was an Elvis Monday. Yeah. Too many to, 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 to count mm -hmm. and every Monday there's some significant uh, moment that I think, geez, I'm glad I'm still doing this. So a lot of bands have played many, many Elvis Mondays. Can you tell me a little bit about those bands? Well, if a, if a band is really good, I I try to get them to play a lot. Hi, I'm here with the band Whale Tooth. So you guys have played a lot of Elvis Mondays. What's that been like? Um, it's been a lot of fun for us. It's, it's been a great place to, uh, to try out some new material uh, before a really good crowd. Uh, the audience is a lot like the audience on a Friday or a Saturday. It's pretty much young music lovers. Um, if you've ever been to the Drake on, on a weekend evening, it's, it has the same vibe and that's what's neat about Elvis Mondays is that it has, it has a weekend vibe but it's at the beginning of the work week. It's actually great. Everybody's uh, pretty much into it. Uh, the room is packed. Uh, the drinks are flowing. Look, the selling point is that it's a free show, which always brings people out. Is there like a, a camaraderie between bands that develops um, when you continually play Elvis Monday? I think when you notice or you look around in the audience, you can see various uh, people from different bands. And uh, so you get that community vibe. I think it's uh, important. It's birthed a lot of like musical relationships locally, and it's um, birthed a lot of the famous artists that we that we kind of see today. Hi, I'm here with Rob and Barb from Mama Bolo. So, in general, what's the audience like at an Elvis Monday? Uh, the audience is always very different, depending on which bands are playing. Um, it's kind of packed right now, usually by 11 o'clock uh, for an Elvis Monday, but through the different clubs and over the years, there's been times when, when bands were getting signed just from playing an Elvis Monday to like there being like three people in the audience, but it always, it's like this cyclical thing that comes around and it starts getting rediscovered because there's always a new batch of bands coming out.
Drake is proud to host Elvis Monday because it has served as a beacon for culture in our city for so many years. It's a great night to catch local favorites, up and coming acts, and even the occasional superstar. Monday's in the underground rock, but that's just one night. We're open seven nights a week with killer live music and much more. Check us out online at thedrakehotel.ca slash events. I'm Kiki Van Duen, and I'll see you soon in the Drake Underground. Hear that metal sunset glare Fills the sky to wash my hair Hear that metal sunset smile Watching my back on fire 